Hello everybody, welcome again to our channel. Uh, the today's video is about how to organize your data table before starting performing some graphs. So the idea here is to show how to add new columns, how to add new rows, how to change values from continuous to nominal, how to move columns, how to recode uh, the data that is inside your column, how to order the values to perform good graphs, how to put spec limits and how to sort data to perform better analysis. So, to, to explain all these little things, I have here a data table about uh, 60 rows and five columns. How I know that there are 60 rows and five columns? We have this information here. So in the video uh, starting, getting started with Jump, I explained how, how Jump shows to us all this information, right? So here we have these five columns and let's suppose that I would like to add one more Y, one more uh, response variable. I can just double click here or uh, right button click uh, new columns and I put here a new column. Okay, the same thing happened uh, with the rows. I can add rows here like uh, I would like to add uh, 14 new rows. So jump you will add. Uh, new 14 rows. If I want to delete, I select them, uh, right button, right, right click and delete rows. And here the same, delete columns. Another thing that uh, people uh, should know uh, is about the type of the, the data that you have here. Uh, if, if you have this type of data, everything here is, is numeral, is, uh, is a continual value, right? One, two, three. So Jump is understanding that you have numbers. So this is not right because I have some days, the shift of the day, the machine where we collect this data and the parts. The only column here that is a continual value is our response variable, this column here. So here is where you can see how Jump is uh, understanding your data. So here we have this blue triangle. It means that they are continuous data. So you can select these columns here and change them with the right click here from continuous to nominal. So now we have another type of data. If you have ordinal data, for example, day, day one, two, and three, you wanna put ordinal here because there is an order between these uh, characteristics. One is coming before then two and three. So they are ordinal, right? Uh, you can change this as well with the double click on the, the column. For example, double click on the column machine. You can change it here. Numeric character, expression, row state. So here is where you can change this. It's a numeric data type, but it's nominal. So this is very important because, for example, when you are running uh, various components in the variability analysis, if you don't have this as a nominal uh, value, you will have problems. So Jump will not perform a various components uh, if this data type here that are, uh, that is, that are your uh, source of variation in your study, uh, it won't perform the variance components. So this is very, very important. All right. 
let's say that I would like to move this Y column from here to there. So how, how can I do this? I have to press, let pressed for at least two or three seconds, this Y column here. And the moment that I do this, I can move the column. I can put the column right here, for example. I know some people that like to, to put the Y column here at first because it's easier to, uh, to perform uh, graphs, for example. But I'm very used to do this. I have always my Y variable uh, being the last columns uh, to the right. Another thing that is very, very important sometimes is how to change this day one for to Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, shift uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, machine, the Brazilian machine, the German machine. So I, I don't need to type uh, each row. I, I can just uh, come here, for example, uh, I, I have this machine column selected. I come here, this function, this part of the menu uh, called calls from columns and here is everything that I can do with the columns. So I have a function here called recode. So I can just recode uh, the, the, the numbers one to uh, Brazilian. Brazilian machine. So jump you ask me. Enter a non-numeric value for a numeric column. Convert column to character? Yes. And the machine to is the American, American machine. If I just do this, I will have this new column called machine two. No, I don't want to, to create a new column. I, have, I, I want this changing in place. So I put this in place, I will change inside of this column. So in place, I would like to change one to machine from two to American. So I click record here and now I have this Brazilian and American, Brazilian and American, okay? So when I, I perform a graph, for example, let's see why uh, for each machine. So I have here all the American machine and the Brazilian machine points here. There's a big difference, right? But Mateus, I I I don't uh, want uh, American machine appearing uh, first than Brazilian machine. So wh why it is happening? It is happening because Jump is organizing, is ordering your data alphabet alphabetically. So you can change this. You can here in the right click on this column column properties, you can change the value order of this information. I would like to, every time that I perform a graph, I would like to have Brazilian be, uh, appearing before the American. So I just changed here and I click in OK. So I will perform the same graph again. I will recall this and now I have all the Brazilian information uh, being uh, appearing, sh being showed before uh, America on the, on the left. Okay, this is very interesting, mainly when you are working, for example, with days Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Friday is the third day in your data collection, but Friday, Friday is gonna be appeared before Monday because F comes before then M. Okay, so this is value ordering. Let's say that uh, I'd like to have the spec limits on this graph. So I can put here inside of the column properties spec limits. So here in this uh, properties of this column, I have this information here, for example, 32 uh, to 32.02. 
and I click show as graph reference lines and now every time that I will perform a graph with this column Y jump will show me the spec limits, the lower specification limit and the upper specification limit. So just be careful because uh, if you run, if you perform some control charts, uh, you, you should not have some control uh, specification limits, okay? But if you are performing uh, a lot of different graphs and you need the specification limit, this is how you put this. And the last thing about organizing data, data here is how to sort, how to organize this data from the, the, the minimum value to the max value. Right click on the column, sort ascending. The moment that I click here, jump will organize the data from the minimum value that I have to the max value that I have. So now I know that the part number 30, 30 is the biggest one and the part number 40, 45 is the, uh, the, the little one. So the, this is the minimum value and the max value. If I want to organize again, I can just click and control Z or sort parts okay so this is a basic organization uh, of our data table is not a big data table to machine learning studies but is a very important table when you are collecting data and trying to understand your your voice of the process there they are tips to to get better uh, graphs performed later on so thank you for watching again, subscribe to our channel, like the videos, comment if you have any different situation, if you have to organize this uh, every time that you will perform analysis and so on. So thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.